Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I post hair and lifestyle content. And if you clicked on today's video, you already know what today's video is gonna be about. A hair video and not just any hair video, but a hair video featuring Fenty hair. So if you are ready to see me review and style my curls, then keep on watching. So before I proceed with my review, I have been researching other reviews and seeing the feedback. And you know, let, let's let's break it down a little bit. So I think it's important to preface some things. If you would like to get to the review portion, you can skip to this timestamp on the screen. But anyways, a lot of people are suggesting two things or a few things. So number one, that no one is using the products correctly. Now this may be true or false. However, I think it is important to note that, and I have said this on my channel before, but if you don't know your curl pattern or porosity type, then you're going to have trouble finding corresponding products because not all products are made for all porosity types. Two, when watching a product review for hair, a lot of factors need to be considered. What porosity do they have? Do they have heat damage? Have they clarified their hair in a while, aka do they have product buildup? How do they style their hair? Air dry or diffuse? There's just so many factors. So always keep in a mind open like an open mind when watching reviews. And then three, for the product itself, a lot of people are suggesting that A, the home curl, the curl defining cream, is actually Actually not good at defining it all and that B supposedly the stronghold gel the jelly type is one not stronghold but two that it actually also flakes so for this video will we will one be clarifying my hair to get a great use of the product and we also will be air drying and seeing if it does flake so please watch until the end to see the final results once my hair is fully dry but for now let's get into the two products I purchased and really break them down by packaging smell consistency and amount and price what i selected so from the line i only wanted to grab items to style my hair to be honest one because i'm broke to bh but two because i didn't feel called to purchase the whole bundle in packs so the most repair like the bundles really seem to be really repair focused but for me personally the most repair i focus on when it comes to my hair is really clarifying and hydration why well one my hair porosity is both medium and high porosity the middle of my head is high porosity and the outer crown is medium porosity so um if you need a detailed video on what that means please click on my video below where i explain how to find out your porosity and what each porosity means i put a lot of focus into my styling creams and the gels i use rather than you know if you get if you get what i'm trying to say with that so because my porosity and curl type my hair can get quite frizzy so my creams and gels are something i really focus on so i definitely was like okay so for this review i'm definitely buying the styling products i also do have a lot of hair as well so clarifying is very important to me to really display the volume i've also been blessed with genetically what i'll be reviewing is the fenty hair the jelly type the stronghold gel and the fenty hair the home curl curl defining cream Let's start with packaging for both. It comes in this cute peach pink color, which I'm not mad at, and this fun plastic cover that mimics the lid. I also love this super fun twist off lid style top, twist off and lid style top. I almost feel it was designed this way for the travel girls. I don't know if this is factual. If you know, you know, I've had a product or two bust open on me. It's very annoying when you're traveling and that happens. I want to also imagine that the ridges that were placed on this um container is is a way to make it easy to twist off because you know when you're doing your hair and the product is like slipping and sliding in your hands and you're trying to open the container you can't like i was kind of thinking that that's probably why it's designed this way but other than that's really cute not no complaints you know very simple very basic looks like a hair product too so that was really excellent well done as far as smell so to begin i wash my hair with my regular um hydrating shampoo and conditioners nothing special i also did clarify my hair like i said i was going to um just so i can really get a full scope of the product so we can really see the results and not review it with product build up and then you know what i mean but the closest thing i could compare the smell to is like pink lotion don't come for me i mean that in a very nice way i'm not mad at all about the smell and trust me i'm quick to not use a product like i will buy it or give it to somebody else if i don't like the smell but i have no complaints about the smell so far so that really did not disappoint so thank you rihanna period 
Now let's talk about the consistency. So when I try a product, a product for the first time, how it feels in my fingertips really matters to me. So because of my porosity and curl type, I find that water-based products slash light thin curl creams really feel best on my hair and provide a nice airy curl. I want to say both the gel and the cream gave me the same vibe. What I would compare this to is Weed Ad's Advanced Climate Control line where it's thin and silky. I personally enjoyed that, but can absolutely let you know if you have hair like mine be prepared for your curls to not stay curly for too many days meaning i feel like this is really not this is really something that you use lightly if that makes sense so i can already tell my i can already tell what i am getting myself into when i'm using this product amount and price as a thick haired girl myself i compare these to again the price of the weed ad line which to me is on the higher end and will burn a hole in my pockets because the more hair you have the more product you use so if one plus one equals two so i'm all about affordable hair products but that kind of gives me the same results like I'm, I'm all about affordable hair products that give me both the same results as a higher priced hair products so respectfully she is very expensive so i wouldn't be able to normally refill this product as much as i'd want to if you know what i'm saying but of course fenty if y'all want to put me on that pr i'm open no but on a serious note she is pricey however check how this product goes in my hair like let's focus on that first so first impressions like so heads up again because of my porosity type i need a lot of water to style my hair so to be honest after i clean and condition it i just put my creams and gels in the shower so i can get the water i need my hair dries very fast so for that reason i style in the shower but just the fyi because of my porosity and curl type i find that i can see pretty quickly when my hair is sucking in a good product or not i also feel using a denman brush makes a huge difference so i am wetting my hair applying and then combing to evenly distribute the product the cream applies beautifully i feel you also see a lot of shine reflecting on this video and the waves in my hair show me that it is adhering nicely so it also does not feel heavy and yes a lot goes a long way which a lot of girls were saying that you know that they felt that way which i think makes sense when a product is thin but silky so gel makes or breaks my curly hair looks i will see the gel results more towards the end and make sure you watch until the end to see if the gel is actually as flaky as people have been saying but again i can tell this is a very thin gel so it's probably not meant to leave some strong extra hold although it advertises that i do have a hard time believing that this would be a strong hold for anyone with very curly hair to be honest and to be fair if you look at the back of the container it looks like it's meant for styling not really washing goes uh yeah like i can't really tell what the image is um is this for a slick back or but when i looked on the website a lot of the models have actually like slick backs and hairstyles so the website does also note that this gel is supposed to not be crunchy and add shine and reduce frizz so we will see if this is true in three two one oh period okay here are the results ladies and gentlemen here are the results what do you think so I actually went on their website and grabbed, I'm looking down here on my iPad, wrote down everything that they claimed that these products will do. And we're gonna, we're gonna say, yes or no, did it actually do what it said it was gonna do? So this is how it looks, right? I'd say not bad, not bad, not bad, right? Okay, so when it comes to the curl defining cream, they say it will make your curls feel hydrated. Do my curls feel hydrated? I would say yes. I'm going to say yes to that. Does it make your curls feel not crunchy? This one could be yes or no because remember I put the gel on. But I will say not crunchy but not not really crunchy but like a little bit. A little tiny bit but like nothing out of the ordinary. Does it leave your hair non-greasy or non-oily? Because of my porosity type. It's really hard to make my hair look greasy or oily. So I'm gonna, off the bat, give her a no. She does not make your hair look greasy or oily. This could be different for other people, of course. So let's talk about the gel, okay? So after research, we know that the gel is actually advertised for, um, on their website says, for sleek ponies, slick backs, updos, and top knots. Obviously, this is not that. This is a wash and go. So although it's not advertised for this, looks pretty good you know what i mean so so we're gonna give her her props there however it does advertise the following it is 
supposed to add shine to your hair i feel it's kind of shiny she's giving a little shiny not the oily though like greasy and oily like we were talking about it does not give that so shiny a little bit um could it be more shiny yes i feel like my hair has looked shinier on other occasions i'll put a picture on the screen so you know it is what it is does it reduce frizz i feel what do you think comment down below if you think that my hair looks frizzy right now with the product yes or no i think it's the perfect amount of frizz i feel like she is a bit frizzy i've seen from a, after day one wash day my hair has this looks more like a day three day two wash day so i would say yes it kind of does doesn't reduce frizz but again remember we're using it for wash and go so it's not for a sleek pony um if you do recall i did add a lot more to the front so here this is my frizziest part of my hair so we can say it does reduce frizz for the most part because i added a lot of gel here and that um is not frizzy at all so cheers to that did it spread easily yes you saw it through the video you saw me say it it does spread easily and did it leave behind flakes let's see i'm gonna go up close to the camera and see what do you guys see do you see flakes i'm not seeing flakes um let me grab a mirror okay so to be real with you i'm not seeing flakes i'm not so i don't know if this is because of the clarifying that i did that i told you was very important when you're reviewing a product could have been Maybe if you're using the Fenty Shampoo and Conditioner and everything else. I don't know why people's things are flaking, but mine is not. But all in all, this is the results of using the Fenty Hair. And yeah, I'm not mad at it. Like I said, I don't think I'll be able to buy it again, financially speaking. But girl, if you want to put me on the PR team, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. As always, I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, all the videos that I post. And if you like this review and you want another one, comment down below and let me know what I should review next. And if you like my personality, if you like this video a lot, if you thought it was fun to watch, go watch my vlogs because you'll have a blast over there too. But other than that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, anything I didn't answer about this hairline, please let me know down below. Um, I try my best to research everything and really focus on what a lot of people were giving other people feedback on so i really wanted to like make sure i answered some questions that seem to have been missed from this but other than that thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and share love share this with your friends with your homegirls if they want to buy fancy hair share this with them so that we know like get the word out get the word out get the word out okay thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye